So what is landscape? What do we think landscape is? Landscape is anything that is naturally grown, like plants. It can be anything which is not natural. It can be pictures. It can be any element in landscape which elevates the surrounding. So come, let me show you a few examples of landscape. Now as we can see around the apartment, there are so many places where landscape architecture has been used. For example, these bushes. And come with me. You can see the seating. You can see in Mangi, uh, landscape architecture, we have uh, seating spaces where you can sit. And we have pathways where you can walk and go from one place to another place. And they're usually made up of um, stone or brick or whatever you see part of it. So, let's talk about a renowned landscape architect, Paul Thompson. So, who is Paul Thompson? Paul Thompson was indeed a notable landscape architect known for his innovative and sustainable design. He was known for his use of his ecological and cultural aspect in the design to beautify the design. So all his designs were more towards the beauty aesthetic and it was a little more sustainable, not necessarily cost effective. So what else about Paul Thompson? Let's talk about his work. Thompson's work has a deep understanding in uh, landscape architecture in terms of the environment and he also had a commitment towards making landscape not only beautiful, pretty and aesthetic but also he wanted to make it functional and he also wanted to make it resilient. So what else about Paul Thompson? Now let's go and learn about the different works he's done and we'll also see a few examples and we'll also have a deeper understanding of what he actually does as a landscape architect. Moving on from the philosophies of Paul Thompson, let's now understand these philosophies in relation to his works. The project Australian Botanical Garden is located in Craneburn, which is led by TCL Architects and accompanied by Paul Thompson. In this project, we can observe a stalking contrast between the east side and the west side in which Paul Thompson beautifully displays the love and hate relationship of Australian people towards the landscape. On the east side, we can see human intervened landscapes which form exhibit gardens, cultivation gardens and display gardens. While on the west side, we can see non-human intervened and naturally formed landscape of Australia bringing the essence and concept to this project which forms a natural landscape. The philosophies of Paul Thompson which says nurturing the landscape is very evident in this project. There are over 1,70,000 plants belonging to 1,700 different species and this project is a rehabilitation project. The land before this project is used for quarry. We might think, then how is this land fit for a botanical garden? Well, the distillation system and the irrigation system along with the horticulture which was planned by Paul Thompson made this project possible. Let's now discuss the focus points in this project. The first one is a red soil garden. This is said to be taken inspiration from the red desert in Melbourne and it creates a very main visual focus in this project. And the second one we have is Gibson Hill. This is a man-made hill which has a rock pathway leading to its top. This provides a whole view of this botanical garden. And third, we have water. We might think, how can this water element be the focus when it is not being the central pivot of the design? Well, here the water is being a focus as being a division between the east side and the west side. For one to cross from the east side to west side, they have to cross over this water. And this water is creating a melolution pits and also rock pool walkways which is leading you to different themed gardens in between. Well, the next project is Bendigo Hospital, which was designed by Oculus and accompanied by Paul Thompson. This project has won the award of AILA 2019 Civic Landscape. In this project, we can see the landscape 
is more of the outer layer of the project than the project itself. And this is creating a transition space between the urban context and also the building. This project is more of a biophilic design and urban landscape. We can see Paul Thompson has brought in the calmness and relaxation by incorporating the natural and original species of Australian plants and also creating a level differences which made the user identify the function of the space with very easy. We can see that in the walkways and in the seating spaces and in the entrance of the building. From both of his projects, we can understand that Paul Thompson is trying to bring the harmony and the importance of Australian landscapes. He is always trying to find a technique which highlights the Australian landscape and its plant species. Well, Paul Thompson being the horticulture planner and landscape gardener in these projects, so he concentrates more on the plant species and the plant origins and their location in the design than more of a design itself.